in our final minutes together, we want to challenge um, all of our teams to really think about how you can increase your support for schools and districts and organizations to determine impact. All of the resources we will discuss are available in the SPCR resource portfolio. And that link is going to be put in the chat again. It's also at the top of the chat from earlier today. So we challenge you and your team to add one tactic to your current efforts to support schools and districts, especially now. As you are all aware, ESSER three funds are to be obligated by September 20, 2024, and state legislative sessions and schools are anticipating policy and budgets in the upcoming months. Those decisions will inform practice beyond the ESSER funding and will be impacting what happens next school year. If we wait until April, May, or June to determine the impact of what's happening now in our investments, we will have missed the window to actually use the data and to influence the structures and systems for the next school year. So with that in mind, we're gonna provide you a few tools that you might be able to add to your toolkits. So first, for those SEAs tracking pace of LEA spending, we encourage you to support districts that are not on track to spend in order to make investments that maximize the remaining ESSER window. SEAs might consider which staff can support these districts. So for instance, the federal program staff, school improvement liaisons, and the actions that these LEAs can take. One resource to consider is the ERS publication, 10 Ways to Spend Remaining ESSER Funds. And that's in both the resource portfolio and in the chat. Another strategy for SEAs to consider that are tracking pace of LEA spending is to also focus on student outcomes. One starting point seen here is the National Center School Spending and Outcome Snapshot, SSOS tool, which can plot school spending versus outcomes in your state. Our colleagues at the Edgenomics Lab are happy to update spending and outcome data if you provide them with an Excel file. If you're already monitoring the pace of spending and monitoring student outcomes, then begin to get curious about the implementation of the interventions. Identify an intervention of interest and choose a few schools or agencies to learn from and with. What evidence points to short-term and mid-term outcomes being early indicators of success? Is the engagement increasing? Is chronic absenteeism decreasing? Are subgroups of students beginning to accelerate their achievement? Are districts or organizations building capacity for instructional improvement? Once you identify these leading outcomes, work to determine and, and norm the inputs and outputs across the different contexts. These foundational practices will inform the necessary requirements for sustainability. And if you do not already, we recommend supporting districts and schools by providing them with a logic model template or format to use. Ideally, this is something used not only in ESSER work, but other grants that your team is offering. A theory of action is similar tool to the logic model and ERS includes this as a key step in their guidance to help districts determine the system strategy return on investment, which we heard Lubbock reference in particular earlier. This SSROI approach is also something we will be sharing about more in the future webinars. And you can find this tool um, through a link in the resource portfolio. So SEAs can also play a role in helping to communicate successful interventions, particularly using trusted and well-connected voices. This could mean providing opportunities for districts to share their successes at an upcoming all call for superintendents, an SEA might also find ways to capture case studies, for instance, something as simple as a recorded Zoom interview, and get them in front of key audiences like school boards. And rather than just saying tutoring, communicate the specific components of the intervention to better promote dissemination and replication. The resources Jack and I quickly described are located in the resource portfolio for strategic planning for continued recovery. 